All right, so what I got in front of me right here is, well, it's a warning. Um, I've been driving now uh, on the road for about five to six years, and this is my first warning. Now, I've only been pulled over about five to six times within, that, within those six years, um, but I've just never really had luck uh, getting warnings in the past. And it kind of sucks because I had to go to court um, out of those like two times, and both times I went, it was like over $100, so that's never fun to pay. Um, so I just figured I'd tell you guys how I got my first warning uh, and how everything went down. Yesterday I was at work, I just got off work, had some food sitting right next to me, um, and I, the morning of yesterday I took my engine or my block to the, uh, the machine shop to drop it off so I didn't have a seat in the passenger area, it was just like a blank space and everything was gutted out in the back as you already know. I'm just driving down the street, the, the speed limit's like 35 and I'm doing like like 45. I usually do about 10 miles on that street because cops around my area usually don't pull you over unless you're going like, like 12 to 15 miles an hour and I didn't see any cops in the area and um, usually I'm just driving with other traffic going the same speed. Usually people go about 45, 50 on that road. I know it's kind of ridiculous, but it's there's nothing around and people really don't really slow down unless they see like lots of traffic or school buses. So it's common to go 45 on that road. Yeah, I know I was speeding, but I'll get to that later. Um, and uh, I was just, the, the light was red and there was cars sitting there, so I just got in the right lane and just kept going because the light turned green uh, as I approached the intersection. Five to ten seconds after that, after I passed that light, uh, I see lights in my rearview mirror and somebody like kind of catching up to me. I'm like, oh god, here we go. Somebody's trying to race me. And then I see the red and blue lights and I'm just like, well, there goes my insurance. So like I was saying, um, the lights go up and I don't have my seatbelt on, so I just kind of nonchalantly, as I was slowing down, reached, I reached for my seatbelt and put it on without knowing. Um, and uh, then he uh, pulls me over, and uh, I'm just kind of like, well, crap, I'm probably going to get a ticket because I've been driving for so long and I never get warnings. So um, he pulls me over and is like, is there any reason why we're in a rush tonight? And I was just like, yeah, I'm going home. I just got done working at Domino's. And I had like this little sticker on my steering wheel to like let me know like how many deliveries I do and all this. He's like, oh, I was wondering what that was. And then um, he's like, can I see license and registration? And I'm like, yeah, but I don't want to reach for it because it's behind me. And uh, the reason why it's not in my glove box is because it's zip tied shut because this is my track car. And uh, he just kind of laughed a little bit. And uh, we. I don't know, it's just kind of awkward because I was like, yeah, I'm really hoping this guy gives me a warning, but then again, I'm probably not going to get one. Uh, and then um, he's like, okay, well, yeah, that makes a lot of sense now since there's nothing in your car. And I was like, yeah, I have a YouTube channel and all that if you want to look me up. Uh, and he's like, no, nah, it's okay. I don't want to see anything that you have on there just in case, you know, he has to report it or whatever. Um, but yeah, he was kind of a cool guy. Uh, Cops are usually cool. I've never had a problem really with a cop before. Um, but then they just always give me tickets. So, you know, I don't understand that. Um, but he, uh, I told him I didn't have my, like, my license or anything on me. So he just told me, uh, can you tell me where you live, your last name, and the type of car this is, or something like that. And I told him, and he's like, okay, I'll be right back. He's like, roll your window up, stay warm. Um, and then uh, he comes back after like five, ten minutes is just like, all right, so here's a warning. And I was like, yes, <laughs> my first warning. Um, and basically on this, this piece of paper, it said that uh, driving vehicle in excess of reasonable and prudent speed on highway 45. So I was doing like 45 and a 35. And then I forgot to tell you guys, the license plate light that we have on our, on our rear bumpers. It wasn't near the actual license plate. It wasn't in the socket for the license plates. About a couple weeks ago, I was driving, doing deliveries, like I usually do, and uh, I get back to the Domino's shop and my rear bumper is just missing. It's just gone. And I'm like having a panic attack. And um, I go out to search for my rear bumper and there it was, like lying in the middle of a street by our mall. 
and uh, I pick it up and I realize that, you know, I, I just have to put the bumper back on and zip tie it together. Um, so I did that and then I forgot to plug in the license plate light. So all that time I was driving without uh, a license plate light and that's why he stopped me. And that was the end of that. I was just happy. I was just like, wow, I got, I actually, you know, got a warning. And my license was about to uh, expire the next day. So kind of glad everything happened perfectly. Everything happens for a reason. Uh, so that was the end of that. That's going in the trash because I no longer need that. And uh, that was the end of the video. I will see you guys in the next one.